Where is that damn girl? You, Neb, are young, and your legs are strong. Perfect for my needs. A pigeon arrived not long ago. I sent Ruya to fetch it, but she is so unreliable. Probably batting her eyes at the Master of Arms. If I see her... Never mind her. I want my letter. Run up to the Pigeon Tower and fetch it. All news is important to us these days. All right, Stuart. I will see what I can do. Pigeons are in a ruckus. What has upset them? An ill omen. How did that charcoal get spilled? Still fresh. The railing broke when someone went over it. <laughs> Lot of blood. Where's the body? Lot of blood. Where's the body? for the proper rights. Poor oh, Ruya. If you had only known how to make such a leap. What did you get yourself into? Beasts with the faces of men prey on the weak and powerless. We cannot simply show our bellies to the jackals that plague our land. By the gods! Ruya! What happened? She was thrown to her death from the Pigeon Tower. Your letter. Why was she killed? That is the badge worn by Dimnos, our master of arms. Why did she have it? I will find out soon enough. The poor... Poor girl. May you walk in the field of reeds. Dimnos, I'm looking for Ruya. Why would I know where that peasant is? Perhaps because she has your badge. Shit. Well, she was just an Egyptian dog. No matter. Why did you do it? Truth? I didn't mean to kill her. Only teach her a lesson for her insolence. She refused to read a letter for me. You must confess to Peleus. I suppose you want the same fate as Ruya. You stupid Egyptian. I'll teach you the same lesson she learned. Come! Try! They will pay, corpse!
Netta he mentioned. Is it Dimnos? Yes. He killed Ruia out of base cruelty. And he died because he thought I was also less than a person. What a senseless tragedy. She was a smart girl with a good heart. The letter you recovered, it is information for Apollodorus. I will make sure he gets it. We must all do what we can to help Cleopatra's cause. She alone cares for all the people of Egypt. All right. I'll take it. A fair price, no? Fair... Wins ...and safe roads. Yeah. 
You there! Stop!
Push your racket, auntie. You will just make the hippos excited. Or call the bandits back. Is... is that him? No, not Maketra. But where is Maketra? What would we do without my cherished Maketra? I cannot worry about that now. If things do not change, the crops will rot and we will starve. Neb. You look strong, and carry yourself without fear. Can you help a poor farmer? Your friend was killed by a hippo. Yes. The beast rampage slaughtered many. Yesterday, we were attacked by bandits. In their wake, they disturbed these hippos and drove them into our fields. The gods seem content to peace on us. We cannot harvest the crops, nor can we put the dead to rest with the hippos in our fields. Let me help you collect the dead.
this Maketra? Not this. This is my wife's brother's son. He was a fool. A brave fool, but a fool. My poor Maketra! He's... he's gone! Thank you, Neb. Their souls will now rest in peace. Who is this Maketra, your aunt Mons? Our protector. Brave and strong like you, he would chase away fierce animals or the bandits who plague us. I guess there's no one left who can keep us safe. Such a curse upon all of Egypt, it seems. Where do these bandits roost? There is a canyon. I would take you there, but it is far too dangerous. Also, someone must deal with the dead. Of course, I will find it. The bandits are known as the Hungry Great Ones. May the gods protect you. The last one, I think. And the cage are not among them. Will I ever see my dear Mekatra again? Hush, Nebet. You do not know he has crossed over yet. Without him, no one will help me tend the field. Or keep me safe. Or sing to me under the stars. I will see what I can find. I should be cautious around here. Hey ho! 
Hold on. Diamond. Be careful now. you out of there. Yes. These bandits breed like rats. Oh, son. I'll be back for you!
Thank you. But why did you save me? Euron spoke of your desperate straits. I would free any unjust captive, but the plight of a protector is something I cannot ignore. You are a Medjai. We are of the same brotherhood. Yes, I must hurry home. The war chief, Fat Homer, took the hungry great ones on a raid. You move like a lion. Would you help me stop them? Ketra, I think we are done. You fought like a lion yourself. I have learned much from you. You've made me a better protector. Egypt needs more people like you. The land needs more people like us. I will sing songs of our battle to my aunt to remember this day. Ha! Huh.
Something seems off here. Anything through. Block the road behind me. I will get through. Hey.
Pardon, Neb. I cannot sell any chariots today. My Serapis, I cannot believe my eyes. That looks like a Medjay badge. Please forgive me. For a moment I thought you were the sign of the Medjay, the lost protectors. I do. I am. What pains you, Nebet? My heart is broken. My truest friend, my husband, Eriks, has been murdered. Tell me what happened. He was renowned for his work. A soldier ordered him to build war chariots for the Pharaoh. He was happy to do so. But when the soldier returned to collect, he only offered to pay half the agreed price. Eriks refused, and the soldier cut him down and stole the chariot. If you are truly a Medjay, will you help me get justice? Find the soldier and destroy the war chariot so he may not insult my husband's memory. I can do that for you. Hello, friend. Come to trade? Agreed. Is fair. Shame the captain killed the chariot maker. His work was masterful. Don't cry for these mouthy peasants. No, I was just saying. You'll think his widow is still running their shop. Why? Do you fancy her? Hearing to short older women? She's a handsome woman. Yes. Well, good luck convincing her to let you into her bed. While we ride around in the chariot her dead husband built. When does the next patrol head out? Soon, I think.
to draw attention here. Stay alert. No getting stopped in the back. <laughs> All right, be careful now. should not be seen in this area.
Watch out! Coming through! Here.
It is done. The sacrifice made to honor the builder who was cut down. Honorable Medjai, what news do you bring? I have destroyed the war chariot that Eric's made, and was stolen by the vile captain of Antilla. Your husband's memory is restored. Not relax. No kills on our side today, all right? <laughs> ready to bleed something, hey, brother. <laughs> hey, I think we have company. You hear something?
Work as fine as Onirisis. I wish I could afford one of his weapons. Did you ever see the Serpent of Serapis? A spear light as a feather and sharper than Sobek's tooth. With such a spear, I could be a champion in the amphitheater. Shame about what happened to it. How can I help you? Ah. The Serpent of Serapis. You have heard the tragic tale? Not the whole of it. Oh, it was a true masterpiece. The shaft wrapped with water-hardened leather. The blade hammered out of the metal of heaven. I would love to see it. Impossible. I crafted it for one of Apollodorus' captains when I lived in Saïs. But Sefeto's soldiers killed him. That is the reason I left. Sefeto? Yes. Sefetu the Firebrand, who governs Saïs with flame and fear. One of his bootlickers stole the spear that bears my mark. Outrageous. Can you not get it back? The man is beyond my reach. He sails on one of Sefetu's triremes on Mariatus Lake. Ah, I hate a bully. My travels take me far and wide. If I come across him, I will look for your spear. I would love nothing more than to hear of his fall. If you manage it... The Serpent of Serapis is yours. Oh, how was the hunt? Tough. We had to Whoa, the gods shame me, Neb. The Tanner is my husband. He carries that stench home whenever he returns from camp. Is he here now? By the smell? You would think so. But it's worse when he's around. Do not let it trouble you. We all must do work we do not relish. You are right. My husband works hard, but cannot keep up with the demand for his services. The Medjai are said to be legendary hunters. If you would like to earn some good coin, go and see him. I'm sure he could use your help. Hmm. I will consider it. Where would I find him? His hunting camp is north and west of Sao. He will be tanning hides for a few days. If only there was some way for him to deal with the stink. Could you stand to be married to him? Oh. Oh. No! 
Keep your jaws away! Back beast! Sweet Serapis! Where did you come from? Back! Back, you beast! I will turn you into leather armor! Thanks, Traveler. I did not expect the gods to send help my way this day. I was afraid that beast wanted to eat me in revenge for my craft. What brings you this way? Your wife in Sao told me you might need a hunter. Yes, yes. Too much demand and not enough supply. I would be more than happy to pay you good coin for the hides I need, and for you to risk their teeth. I am listening. I need hyena ears, crocodile eggs, and vulture skulls. What do you do with vulture skulls? Many priestesses of Iset use them for headdresses. They pay well. Well now, what do you have for me? Hmm. I do not yet have everything you asked for. No matter. I have enough work to keep me busy until you return with what I need.
Another God's cursed rebel? Magnificent. Clearly the work of that master from Sao Village. The serpent of Serapis is a weapon worthy of the gods. Nothing. Stay sharp. Hey, what?
I seek the Master Brewer, Hakuf. I have no time. Speak to one of my overseers if you must. You misunderstand. I am a Magi. Apollodorus sent me. Apollodorus, of course. He sent me for the Scarab, the shadow that darkens size. Shh, please. That is an evil name to speak aloud. Apollodorus knows the people are suffering. In my position, many confide in me. Trade is strangled, the soldiers run rampant, and the weight of Ptolemy's taxation crushes the breath from us. Come with me. Let us retire where we have a roof overhead. There are many terrible stories about the Scarab. I am sure Apollodorus told you. Tales of mutilation, disappearances, and folk buried in the desert and left to die. A horrendous fate, trapped in the shimmering sand, your mind and body pounded by the remorseless sun, waiting for the final release into the Duat. But these are only stories. There are real villains in size. But the Scarab, if he exists, it is not safe to speak of him. The investigations of Harkov's agents. Concerns of the people. Ah, Saez is no different than Siwa.
The last man who asked questions about the scarab was near beaten to death, with his tongue cut out. Hmm. Who was he? Old Gupa, father-in-law to the most powerful man in the region, Tahaka. That boy, Hawab, is his grandson. Hey, you tired of winning? I'm looking for your grandfather. Do you know where he went? No, he left on the road to Camp Piros. He should have been home by now. I'll see if I can find him along the road. What are we to do with the beggar that Marcos caught in the Felaketai's tent? If he survives the beating the men gave him, we'll sell him at the harbor for a drag. <laughs> This is heavily guarded. get you out. I think you will survive. Uh, 
I know the Scarab took your tongue, but we can help each other. Akuf told me that you are investigating the Scarab. Help me, and I can ensure he dies. Deal with Sefetu's archers in size. They are his eyes. So she said, their farm is failing. Entrepreneurs, wanderers, seek not your solace here. Are you all right? Is he hurt? Banged up, bruised, and thirsty. The soldiers did not take kindly to him, but he will be all right. Where is your father, Kawab? We must speak of this. Father is away, on his great walk. Mother! Grandfather is hurt! Soldiers mistook him for a beggar again. Father! What have you done this time? He was searching for the scarab. I hope he can help me, and in return, I can protect your family. The Scarab is nonsense. Everyone knows this. He wants you to read them. Well, it looks like the Scarab is summoning warriors to the city of Letopolis. By the gods! That is where my husband is. Or the city swallowed by the desert. It is father's destiny to rebuild it. We're going to join him soon. Right, mother? Yes. My husband, Tahaka, has been slaving there for months. I'm sure he can help you. He knows everyone there. If you go, tell him I can't wait to see him. <laughs> yeah, of course I will go up. You are Bayek, yes? My master is anxious that you get this letter. It is urgent. Your master? Do I know him? His name is Otis. You haven't met. All is explained in the letter. Will Siwa never know peace? I will go to the Sarajina camp to learn if there is any truth to this letter. There you go. Amun bless you. Oh, yes. Halt. 
Stay there. Hey. This area is off limits.
You cannot stay in there! You are only making it more difficult on yourself! Ugh. I refuse! My idiot brother has barricaded himself inside. Who is it that you're speaking to? It's one of them, isn't it? No, you fool! He fears Sefetiu's men. But hiding his head in a bush solves nothing. I am not an ostrich. Do I hear horses? Is it them? You better run! Please, if it does not work, Sefetius tax collectors will do something terrible. I'm not sure I can convince him. But I will keep an eye out for these tax collectors. Perhaps I can persuade them to leave you alone. <laughs>
I should be cautious around here. going on here? Damn it. I'll find you. Alarm! Over here! Keep an eye out for me. Thank you. 
Scene of death. I should investigate. Was this a terrible ceremony? There is so much blood, as if some butchery occurred here. But the elements have eroded many of these signs. Scraps of a message. Ah, there's too much missing. Sekhmet, the goddess of hunters. But there are scratches here, above the statue's stomach. What does it represent? <laughs> Scraps of blood and flesh. There was a body here. The crocodiles must have devoured it. The lid of a sarcophagus. There was a symbol here, but it is too damaged for me to make out. Troubling. If I had more information, I might understand this better. But as he was eaten by a crocodile, I'll keep my eye out for anything else so unusual.
I will return it later. Yenech Peru. Big Gere. Yenek.
You need something in particular? Economist mm. Uh-huh. Emrot have never worried. Farewell, Get out of the way. yes. Welcome to Letopolis. Dream of the great Tahaka. A new life awaits you in the glorious city of Letopolis. A chance to begin again in a golden land of opportunity and adventure. This entire city was lost to the cruel desert in the time of our ancestors. But the great Tahaka rediscovered its secrets. He is uncovering it to shine again under the sun and dedicating the city to Horus. With bright wings, we will reach the stars. <laughs> Welcome, friend. A new life awaits you here in Letopolis, the city of Horus. Come, find your path and walk into a new age with us. Come, Neb. Are you ready to work to free yourself? Join us and take a house as your reward. I have heard the stories. A guide will... Sh <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to Litopolis. I never forget a face, and I have not seen yours before. I'm looking for to have... You found it! Your new home! A miracle of a man's labor. The great work begins! No, th that's not... You just don't know it yet. We give every new arrival a house. Only dig it out and help with the public works. A fresh start! I'm not here to live in these tough sands. Speak to some of our new inhabitants. Let Nehi. He can tell you how liberating it is to leave the past behind. I cannot shed my past like a snake sheds his skin. <laughs> Welcome, Nebet. The city of Egypt's future welcomes all. Is it true forgotten secrets are discovered every day? Ah! Many lost works and fragments of the old world are found here. Perhaps not every day, but often enough to make us wonder. Come, Neb. Are you ready to work to free yourself? Join us and take a house as your... By the gods, what am I to do? Peace, friend. What happened? The gods have cast me. I lost my farm and my wife to my brother in Yamu, and now I've lost what little I owned. My cart got stuck in a ditch far from town. As night came on, I heard terrible roars, and I just left them. My poor oxen, everything I owned. Wh what am I to do? Roars? There are no large beasts in this region. I did not stay to find out. They were the last gift I got from my father, Khufu and Kiera. Uh, and I left them there with all I own. When I am out that way, I will see what I can find. For now, do what you can on your new house. My thanks. My house is to the right of the entrance to the temple. May you fly with the bright wings of Horus. Look, any Sigiriot. I have heard the stories. A guide will show you your new house. You have but to be here, cut down.
Welcome, Nebet. The city of Egypt's future welcomes all. Ah, many more books and fragments of the old world. See how you are tangled. You ah, another sacrifice to the mistress of bread! Spill the outsider's blood for the lady of slaughter! Let me with my weapon. Alarm! This way! I came looking for you. I fear now he would be dead, and you'd be lying for it otherwise. Kufu and Kiera. Today I cry tears of joy. <laughs> Look how much you have done since I have been gone. I, I found something strange inside the house. It uh, arouses my curiosity and yet terrifies me. W will you look? Show me. 
As I dug out the main room, I found ominous writings on the wall. Old writings. I have no idea what they say, but it scares me in my bones. These are old, but incomplete. Too much is missing. Erased by time and sand. Do you... Do you think it's a curse? I will ask around town. All right. What should I do? I don't know if I c can sleep here. You will be fine. You should speak to Ramesu. He knows everyone in town and everything that happens here. I'm sure he does. Welcome. Welcome to Letopolis. Dream of the great Tahaka. <laughs> I've seen that dour face before. You've come for your house. No, I... You would clear a house in no time. Enough. At Nehi's house, he showed me strange writings. Nothing to worry you, friend. Three others have said the same thing, but these signs are too old to be made sense of. I will check with them. You are wasting your time, but as you will. can I help you with? Ramesu said you found strange hieroglyphs in your house. Yes. I thought they were kind of creepy. I think someone else may have found the same thing. May I look? Sure. Go on and take a look. <laughs> Looks like the same style. Perhaps part of the same message. <coughs> May I ask you something? Hmm? Yes, what? Nehi found a strange symbol in his house, like you. May I take a look? Certainly. He's new, yes? He'd be cute if he didn't look like he was always about to cry. Tell him I asked how he was. My name's Nebefa. message. Are you new here? Passing through, but looking into a mystery. Did you find ancient hieroglyphs in your house? Didn't everyone? Didn't worry me much. Why? Does it mean something? Not sure yet. May I look? Don't see why not. Tell me if I should worry. of the message. That's the whole message. It appears to be a prophetic vision.
Where is this temple?
What did the priests hope to achieve in their last ceremony so long ago? since dried up. Slaughter. This place was dedicated to Sechmet then. I thought Letopolis was home to Horus. Letopolis was sacrificed to the gods by the ancients, so the rest of the Nile could be granted to the realm of men. These priests made an invocation for protection to the one before whom evil trembles. In drinking their concoction, they gave their lives, as well as their city, to Sechmet. In their eyes, Tahaka's project would be sacrilegious. I'm getting used to living with these symbols. Nebefe even came by for a meal. Did you find out anything? I did. Though I'm not sure you are going to like it. Uh, a curse! I knew it! No, not exactly. Letopolis was an offering to Sekhmet, to protect the rest of the Nile. We have offended the Lady of Slaughter? No wonder the sands always blow, she wants to reclaim the city! Uh, are the officials blind or mad? I can't stay here. Maybe Nebefe will come with me. What about you? My time here is but temporary. You were kind to me when others were not. Maybe we will see each other again in this world.
Run at them! Position get it. Master Tahaka. My name is Bayek from Siwa. I am indeed Tahaka, Grand Planner of Sais and Steward of Latopolis. I met your family. Your wife sent me here. She said you might know about the one called the Scarab. This is not the place to speak, for who knows who may overhear our words. Come inside and I will answer you. Your son is very proud of your work. He misses you. You'll be here soon. I dream of my son and his sons following in my steps. The world is made by great men dreaming big. What do you dream of, Bayek? I do not have the luxury of dreams. Just finding the scarab. The scarab preys upon the weak. There's no threat to me. Are you not afraid of the Scarab Tahak? It seems after what he did to your father-in-law. What happens to poor Gupa tears me. Whatever my life's work, whatsoever I did to bring that down upon him, I beg the gods for me. Master Tahaka! They're attacking the ruins again! Bayek, come fight with me. That kinning is the voice of the Resetu. The desert dogs use the storm as a rallying cry. These reavers use the sandstorm to mask their raids. Stay close to me! Do not let these curse surround you! I will not let you destroy my great work! Over here! Drive them naked the other back! They pour out of the storm! These reapers fly on the wings of the storm! The greatest of Egypt! Now! Come, Metai! Fight with me! Hunt them down! Help! The problem's here! I have no guts to up! Metropolis, rise up and defend your homes! 
giant! Show them the teeth of justice! Quiet! Run straight into the storm! You are expected to find our souls, and instead you have found our iron teeth! Think themselves lions. They are but whipped birds. Fire, put them down. Stay with me, Bayek. The Topolis will stand against the curse. as you are with the plow, right? Bayek, you fell upon them like Sobek's teeth! Bayek, ride with us! These desert dogs have crossed me for the last time. And with your fierce iron, I know we can end their threat. I understand your thirst for blood, Tahaka. But these bandits are not my concern. Tell me about this scatter before you ride. Is that not the badge of a Magi that you wear? These Reavers are a threat to the good and innocent people of Latopolis. Come with me, Paik. And once we have returned these curs to the desert they so love, then... I will tell you the story you want to hear. All right. I will join your cause for today. Come, Bayek. Take up your iron and join us. Brave, loyal servants of Latopolis! We will root these rivers out of their holes and spill their blood on the sand! <laughs> Get out of my way! Yeah. This task you have put yourself to. It seems impossible. <laughs> Only the gods can know that for sure, Bayek. And if I do not reach for the stars, how will I know how close I can get? 
The Topolis was a wonder once, before the desert overtook it. I mean to show the world, to show the gods, that men can conquer anything if they put their minds to it. Perhaps you have been sent by the gods to help me realize my vision. A strong arm, a keen eye. We could restore this land to glory. I have my own great work ahead of me. <laughs> we shall see if I cannot convince you. Slaughter provide. Her pets were getting hungry. Good. like a few bandits are roosting up top. My thanks to you, Bayek. Before you arrived, I thought my dream was doomed to die. You gave me the strength to hunt down these reavers. Who are they? Blood-fevered followers of Sekhmet, the Lady of Slaughter. They wish nothing more than chaos and ruin. Are they connected to the Scarab? <laughs> no. They think themselves lions, but they are no more than carrier eaters. And now they will feed the scavengers. I will bring this priest back to the city. Meet me at my house. We will dine, and I will tell you what you need to know. May Ta bless you and the protector saving me, Master Tahaka. How did you end up here? I was kidnapped by these blood-crazed raiders. 
I thought the road from Memphis to Litopolis was safe. It is now, and I will ensure it stays so. You say you came from Memphis? Memphis is home to many priests. They do not need me there. Litopolis is fertile ground, planted by your hard work. How are things in Memphis? I must admit, Memphis is under a shadow. The high priest angered the gods and is cursed to see the doom of the city. Your messengers reached Memphis, singing of your vision of tomorrow. I have come here to serve the gods. Once you are rested, we will make a home for you in Litopolis. Panicero! Did you see the sandstorm? I'm glad you made it safely, Maharat. <laughs> yes, the gods blessed our passage. We saw vultures and a hyena and so much sand. <laughs> Enough sand to fill a lifetime. That is why we need so many to help us with our great work. And what do you promise them, Tahaka? Parcel of land with a house to call their own. They must only help reclaim it from the desert. That is all? Just dig up your house? It is no simple task. We must all pitch in to honor the gods. People know his vision is a true one. It is good to honor your father, Kawa. The savior of Lotopolis. Mm. Let us have some honey dates now. And. Are you alright, by Are you alright, by Are you unwell? Failing you. Please don't hate me. Soon I will walk the outer darkness with the hidden one, leading me into the field of Ritz.
In out. Good boy. Stripped of armor, weapons, and coin. Where to begin? Now, to hurry before the wind erases the tracks. First my steel, then the scarab. should have stayed in the shadows.
This is how a dream dies. I could have built something to last an age. And Gupa could have sung stories of your accomplishments. There are things I regret! We all labor for higher powers! We are all enthralled to greater forces! There is no escape! I am but one in the Order of Ancients! will bring you no peace. It is not peace that I seek. It is not for my soul that I walk this path. The Order of Ancients will remember me as the bringer of waters and the builder of cities! Oh, the desert will blow in and scatter the dream of Letopolis. Like dust.
Take care of him. Try to make him understand if you can. You have brought blood and death to my house. You are blind. But now you must open your eyes. Your husband was a scarab. He did this. Your father was tortured and scarred by this man. As were so many others. No. It is up to you to raise your boy into the light. Out of the blood and shadows of his father's legacy. I'm sorry, my son. Good news, Layla. IS DNA has finished sequencing. You can sync with their memories now. They're pretty fragmented, but you should be able to dip in for a little while. I work on your ward. Okay. Weird. <laughs> Just like the Battle of Salamis, Captain. I have you trapped. <laughs> Here comes Themistocles. And that is the game. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Foxy, that's why are we delivering all this treasure? We could retire to Lesbos with this amount of gold. What say you, desert rat? If that chest doesn't make it to Pompeii, this ship won't either. We crawl through Hades to deliver it if we have to. Enough. Back to work, you slack black horse! Temestis! My trusted shield boy, get to it, huh? We've been hired to bribe Pompeii, to save a queen. And to win a kingdom! <laughs> the usual fare for us mercenaries, huh? And rubble ahead. I'm not blind. I see the scaries. Your third voyage? And already you bark like a command crew. <laughs> I enjoy watching Spittle get caught in your beak, Foxy Das. Let's not be thrown into the sea. That's no death for such a hero as me. A real hero could swim to save himself. I see them. I'll not be sucked to a scupper for nothing. Now you're just trying to impress me. The horizon, there! Those colors are not from Rome. What the mess has this foxy queen tried to send to? Ptolemy's ships. Sent by the Order of Ancients, no doubt. What business do they have with Pompeii? Pompeii's armies will give Cleopatra the throne. They mean to prevent the alliance before it happens. We must hurry. Poseidon's peace. The air is already choked with smoke. 
The seas will steam near the volcano. We should keep our distance if we don't want to burn. Is that Methana? She hasn't burst for hundreds of years. It wouldn't surprise me if she burst. Ready ourselves! Let's show these traitors they trust their own pharaoh! your jibes, Captain. Pompey is a needed ally, and no mean general. We didn't sail all this way just to offend him with insults. I am who I am. I do not change for kings or queens. I left my wife and kids behind for the same reason. No one sane accepts me. I accept you. We accept you. Allah! These hungry and out is enough acceptance for me. It's hard to say goodbye to those who don't accept us. But he is also the only way! Is it? Pompey will be at the appointed place, off Terra's coast. Sail on! Heave a galley speed! Up the pace, brothers! Protecting a Roman, especially one who can afford his own protection. You know, you really should join this trial. You'd fit right in. Fire bombs ready! Call for them when we pull near! Go, go, go. 
Civil war in Egypt and a mercenary trireme comes to my aid. In the midst of war with Caesar, I find it odd. Who in Hades are you? Well, we could have let you die. Pompeius Magnus. Greetings and friendship from Queen Cleopatra. Cleopatra offers gold to win my favor once I've won Rome. <laughs> Is that what friendship means to your queen? Whose face graces that coin? Do Roman women receive the same honor? An alliance with Cleopatra is a union of true power. She wants more than an ally. She seeks a king. Hmm. A valuable friendship indeed. Agreed. My fleet will soon be ready for Egypt. Oh, 